What is going on, everybody? It is Jew coming to you with another comic book review. But before I get started on my comic book reviews, I do do comic book reviews, as I just said. Also, trailer reactions, film reactions, podcasts, commentating, all that good stuff. All right, so I get into a number one issue of another series that came out for Marvel. And you know, like Marvel is getting franchises from like films and other comic books from the past, like Aliens, Predator. They also have now Planet of the Apes. And this is, it says 20th Century Studios, Planet of the Apes. Now this is this is actually I I gotta say this one right here is not bad at all. I, I actually enjoyed the storyline, the dialogue, the the narrating, the storytelling of this, and it's interesting. It was an interesting take how they went through this book, and you can tell that it took stuff from the movie because they had an actual scene from the San Francisco Bridge where they had the standoff with the police, but it's explaining explaining the virus that uh are being blamed on the apes but which is the virus is actually human made but it and it, it has this weird time time zone or during the storyline where it's going backwards like it'd be like it'll tell you what's going on in 2015 tell you what's going on in 2014 it's going backwards as it tells you the story so it's it's starting at a peak level but it's going back as a lesser level where the pandemic started and just giving you details of what's going on. So basically you have these military protectors trying to protect apes, but there's a lot of terrorists and killers who are pissed off and want to kill all the apes of their existence and get rid of them before they can actually make the virus or make the, 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 the a vaccine, um, for the cure for this virus. Um, and it's causing world, a world war is causing world division. It's causing so much chaos around the world, which is what we knew from the from the movie. But I, this story, the storytelling, of this is fantastic. I, I can't. I, I just there's nothing, nothing threw me off. It, it was different. It was a different take. Like I said, with the time zone going backwards, uh, the art is the art is really good. The I. I I just love I, I love these 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 deep uh storylines where there's something where there's chaos going on between uh in the world and no one likes that in real life, but with these these books though, because it tunes you into it it gets into your imagination in a, at a strong point of reality, like what if that was to happen? Um so yeah, it hasn't even gotten to the characters of the apes, nothing like that. It's just more of the people side of what's going on, but it's actually it's showing apes and showing things happen. So it hasn't gotten to the characters of the apes like Caesar and all them like they do in the movies. But it 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 this is this is definitely to me, this is definitely a go get. This is a go get must read. So uh yeah, so that's Planet of the Apes by Marvel. Which was, uh, by the way, I'm a little late, but uh, this was written by, what can we not say? It says Walker, Watcher, and Valenza, but the book, oh yeah, I see, what I, I know why I did I know why I did Yeah, this is written by David F. Walker, uh, the artist is Dave Watcher, uh, the colors is Brian Valenza, I, I don't think I've read any of their books, but this is a good book, must read. I would say go ahead and pick it up and check it out for yourself. If not, but hey, I'm going to keep reading it. Uh, this is Jew, another review. See you on the next one.